Hello everyone, if your Counter Strike 2 is facing errors such as this application failed to run because of DirectX 11, then you have come to the right place because in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can get rid of that annoying DirectX 11 error. So first what you need to do is open up your web browser and here you need to search for DirectX end user runtime and here click on to this link and then click on download right here. And then start downloading the file, press open and install the file. Click accept the agreement, next, untick install the Bing bar, click next again, wait for it to complete installing. And once it's done installing, click finish and go ahead and restart your computer. And once you're done restarting, open the Steam up and try playing your game. See if that resolves your DirectX 11 error. But if that still doesn't help you, then what you can do is right click on your game and just click on run as administrator. Click yes right here and try playing your game with the administrator mode enabled. If that helps your issue then good but if that still doesn't help your issue then what you can do next is right click on your game again go into properties now and here go into compatibility mode and here take this compatibility mode option run this program in compatibility mode and select it to windows 7 and then click disable full screen optimizations right here also click run this program as an administrator and click OK right here and check if that fixes your issue but if that still doesn't help you then what you can do is open up your start menu and search firewall right here and click on allow an app through windows firewall and click change settings right here and see if counter strike 2 is right here I already have it right here but if you don't have it right here click on allow another app and then click on browse and here you're gonna go into your games directory so my games in C which is the default directory I'll open up C go into program files 86 go into steam steam apps common counter strike global offensive and game bin win64 here counter strike 2 press open right here and once you do that click add right here Counter Strike 2 will be right here. Just take it from the left. And click OK right here, and then take this public checkbox. And then click on OK, and then try playing your game from Steam. And if that still doesn't fix your issue, then what you can do is open up your web browser again. Right here, create media installation Windows 10, and then click on create installation media for Windows. And here select the operating system that you want. So Windows 10 for me. And here we're gonna scroll down and click on download tool now. And we're gonna download and install this tool. Click open. And here click yes. And wait for it to do its thing. And here click accept. Wait for it to do its thing again. And here you need to click on upgrade this PC now and click next. And it will start downloading the Windows. And after that's done, it will install your Windows. If that still doesn't fix your issue, then what you can do is updating your graphics card drivers using Windows Device Manager. Open up the start menu and write here Device Manager. And here go into Display Adapters. And right click on your graphics card and click on update driver click search automatically for drivers 
and if it says the best drivers for your device are already installed you need to do it manually then so just click close right here open up your web browser and here if you have an AMD graphics card you'll search for AMD Adrenaline Edition and here click onto this link and then click on download now and here you need to select your graphics card and once you do that click submit right here and then download and install the graphics card driver if you have an nvidia graphics card you need to search for nvidia gpu drivers and here click onto this link and here fill in this form so select your product type your graphics card series graphics card your windows system and click search right here and then click download right here and once you download and install your graphics card drivers go ahead and restart your computer and after you're done restarting then you can try playing the game open up steam and here go into library and then right click onto counter strike 2 and go into properties and here click on install files and click verify integrity of game files and then steam verify the integrity of your game's files and wait for it to complete it can take a while it depends on how fast your computer is just go ahead and restart your computer and after doing that what you can do next is right click on your game again go into properties and then Click on install files again and go into browse right here. And now instead of launching the game from the desktop or from Steam, what you can try is launch the game from right here. If that still doesn't fix your issue, then what you can do is try installing Visual C drivers. Open up the web browser. Right here, Microsoft Visual C++. Go into this link, latest support Visual C++. which bit version of your windows is just open up this pc and here right click here and go into properties and here as you can see i have a 64 bit operating system so i'll go for 64 right here i'll click on this but if you have a 32 bit operating system then what you're going to do is download this 86 version and install that so i'll just click on that and click download i'll install it once it's done downloading then what you can try doing is open up steam and here right click on counter strike 2 go into properties go into general and just disable the steam overlay while you're in game. and also click delete on here and see if that fixes your issue check if your windows is fully up to date just open up the start menu right here check for updates press enter and here click on check for updates and let windows check for updates and if there are updates available download and install them and then go ahead and restart your computer and then once you're done with the restart open up steam and try playing the game and see if that fixes the issue if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do is try turning off the overlay programs such as msi afterburner rtss msi afterburner riva tuner riva tuner or obs if you have them on so i have my so i have msi on i'll just turn it off and see if that fixes the issue if that still doesn't fix your issue then what you can do now is open up steam and just right click on your game and go into manage and uninstall the game and then reinstall the game and see if reinstalling the game fixes the issue and if it did then be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video peace